So let's say you have a folder of many different Excel files. Uh, by right, these Excel files should have the same structure, should have the same number of columns, uh, so that you can very easily stack them together and append them using from folder. Now the thing is this, you're not sure, right? Because let's say if you've got 100 files from someone else, um, you need to check whether all of them really are the case before you stack them up. But if you've got, if you've got so much files, like 100 over files, you're not going to have that time to just open every single one of them to check and count the number of rows. So let's see how we're going to use Power Query to help you do that counting um, instead of you opening one by one to check through it. Okay, so instead of 100 files, let's just assume I have two right now. So you have raw data one and raw data two. All right, I have them inside a folder called raw data. So looking at the, uh, let's take a look at raw data one. Now raw data one has three sheets. In sheet one, you have got six rows of data um, and two columns. Sheet two, you have five rows of data, um, three columns. Sheet three, you have just two rows of data and one column. As for raw data 2, in sheet 1, you've got seven, 16, 16 rows of uh, data and just 2 columns. Sheet 2, you have 9 rows, 3 columns. And sheet 3, you have 5 rows and 1 column. So the question was, can we automatically count the number of columns in each sheet for each file? So I decided, well, it's not just columns. I think we can also just count the rows at the same time. Um, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that with Power Query. So first, we just open like a new Excel workbook. Um, and we're, of course, going to bring in our things using new query from file and from folder. So I've saved my folder on the uh, desktop. And I'm going to point to that. It's raw data. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. So this is the preview window of what's inside this folder, and there I have it, the two Excel files. I'm going to go transform data, or in your case, if you're using Office 365, it would be edit. Right, and then the Power Query editor window will pop up, um, and here we have all the metadata related stuff. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to add a column, uh, which is a custom column, and the purpose of this column is really to be able to extract out um, what are the contents of of the uh, raw data. So it's going to be Excel workbook, open uh, open bracket, double click in content, close bracket, and I'm going to hit OK. And I click in a white space, I can see a preview of what those items are. So you can see that there are three sheets in them. I'm going to then now uh, hold, choose this, the file name, as well as this and then I'm going to remove the other columns because I don't need their metadata anymore. Next, I'm going to open it up and I am going to, okay, I'm going to show all of the data. I'm going to hit OK. And there you have. So you have for um, in the raw data one file, these are the various items inside the various objects. And this is for the second, uh, second file, raw data zero two. So at this point, it's where we are going to then tell Power Query to, can you compute for me, calculate for me how many columns are there in each of these items? So what we're going to do is I'll go ahead with a custom column again, one more custom column. I'm going to call it um, count columns, count column. In this case, it's a table dot um, column count, open bracket. Now it's counting what? It's actually counting uh, the data. Okay, why? Because in the data column that you see right now, okay, when I click in a blank space, it actually shows you the item uh, that, that's contained in that particular sheet, right? So for each of them, you can tell that they're all the different tables at the, at the left-hand corner, the preview screen. So what essentially it's doing in this addition, in this uh, cust added custom column is to count how many rows are there? So you can see over here the preview, you can see there's two and it returns the number two. I go to the next one, it has three, it's returning number three. Now, similarly, you will be able to get count of rows. So let's add that in uh, using a custom column. We are going to call this column uh, count row and we will use table 
table dot row count. Again, be very careful of your casing because Power Query is case sensitive. And there you have it. So let's check. Let's check. In this preview, you can see that there are six rows and the row count is six. And over here you have you have 16, 16 rows and the count row is 16 as well. And then name your query and then you want to load it to Excel just for your easy reference. I can just put it into a table, into a new worksheet and I'm going to hit load. All right. So what this does is it actually comes up with an entire listing of all the items inside the various files as well as a count of the column and rows. So in that case, you are e you're easily able to tell you know how many rows, how many columns there are for each of them. So what you can do is to download the two raw data files inside the folder as well as this file. And in this case, your file path will be different from mine. So what you can do is go back into the Power Query Editor window. You go back to Source and double click this gear icon and you're able to gen click this browse and repoint it to the raw data folder that's going to be saved on your laptop.